You've been losing weight and then you gain it all back, you lose it and you gain it all back. And now you're just frustrated and you don't know what to do and why that's happening. I am gonna fix that for you right now and explain to you why that is happening and what you need to do to fix that. And in case you don't know me, my name is Albert Sloss. I'm the CEO of OneShot. We're a coaching organization that works with busy professionals all over the world. And I'm just here to try helping you overcome anything you have going on without any charge at all. I'm gonna assume you made one of these approaches. Everybody, takes their own approach to lose weight. Maybe you cut all your calories. Maybe you did a meal plan. I'm assuming in that meal plan, it looks something like this. You did four egg whites, half cup oatmeal. Let's say that was for breakfast. Let's say that for lunch, you probably did the whole four ounces or six ounces of chicken breast. And then you did a half cup of brown rice. And you see where I'm going with this, right? You did veggies and then for a snack, you did a yogurt or a protein shake and then dinner. Maybe what you did was you took weight loss pills maybe you did keto maybe you did the Atkins diet maybe you did a bodybuilder uh, prep diet typical bodybuilder prep diets are the diet plans given by bodybuilders let's say that you did the whole 30 the Herbalife or Advocare or Isagenix maybe you did a Medi weight loss a gastric procedure. Let's say you did one of these approaches and maybe another one, right? That I'm probably missing. I'm sure I could go down the list of all the approaches. And just so you guys know, this is what we as an organization are against. We're against all these methods because what's the one thing that all these options have in common? They are not sustainable. What does that mean? We cannot do these for the rest of our life. This is your start weight. Let's say that weight is 200 pounds. And this is a line that shows time. I'm sure when you did one of these, and maybe not months, maybe years, right? What you did was you started that very unsustainable diet, the very restrictive one, or you were doing all these weight loss pills. You started losing weight because this every single diet plan works. You started losing weight. And then what happens over the course of time? You, you lose all this weight. Let's say by this point, you'd lost 40 pounds. You lose 40 pounds and then you're like, I'm at my goal. Finally, now I'm ready to enjoy good food. Nobody loses all this weight and they just continue eating the same little amount of food that they were doing, cutting out all their carbs, taking the pills or whatever. So everybody inherently gets to their weight. And then what do they do? They go back to old eating habits, which are typically bad eating habits, right? And so what happens? This comes right back up. Out of the 40 pounds they lost, they probably gained plus 30 pounds. At this point, what do people do? Holy shit, I'm gaining weight. I gotta do something. They start dropping. They do another unsustainable method. They lose weight and then they get comfortable again, gets unsustainable, willpower runs out. They have no motivation. They gain all the weight back and up here. Again, what do we do to fix this, right? This is the yo-yo effect, right? This is what happens to everybody who continues choosing one of these unsustainable methods. They choose to do something like this, cutting out all the calories or cutting all their carbs. They do a, a very strict meal plan or a customized diet plan, weight loss pills, prescription pills, gastric sleeves, even with the gastric bypass, it's common that people lose 80, 100 pounds and then over the course of time, they eventually gain it back. If you wanna stop repeating the same cycle of yo-yoing, what we need to do is we need to find a sustainable method for us to lose weight, something that conforms to our specific life lifestyle because at the end of the day, sustainability is key. Now, what does a sustainable approach look like? Well, this approach is very relative to the individual because this approach needs to take into account these specific variables, the variables that are to your specific lifestyle. What does that mean? It needs to revolve around your favorite foods. What are those dirty foods that you like to eat? What are those dirty foods that have contributed you to gain weight? What is your work schedule? How much time do you have to eat? What's your lifestyle like? Do you have kids? Managing kids and eating cleans are very hard, right? Do you cook? Do you eat out? What about social life? Do you have social events to go to? So the sustainable approach, we take into account all these different variables into your specific lifestyle. And we gather all these different methods to create a sustainable nutrition plan. If you learn how to incorporate your favorite foods that can work around your work schedule, that conforms to your social life, that can work around your kids, that can work around your lifestyle, conforms to your social life, right? You could eat out at different places. Let's say we incorporate all those and you're losing weight. Why would you ever stop doing it?
you probably would never stop, right? And right now you're thinking, well, how is that even possible? Well, how is anything possible that you haven't learned? You take the time to learn it, right? I mean, if you think about how is your job possible right now, you had to take time to go through training to learn your job. Maybe you had to go through a specific education course, right? You had to get a bachelor's, master's, a doctor degree. You had to, you had to go to med school to learn how to do your job. So the same thing within this, this seems impossible just because you haven't made any effort to actually try learning how to. All it takes is learning how to make it conform around all these different variables. And it seems impossible the same way that right now, if I were to tell you tomorrow, you're going to play a game of ice hockey, you're going to play a game and I expect you to be successful. You're going to be like, well, that's impossible. But what if you took the time over the course of a year to learn how to play that sport? Do you think you could at least play an amateur game of it? Probably, right? The same thing when it comes to sustainable nutrition, right? The sustainable approach. If you actually just took the time to learn it and actually make it work and lose weight at the same time, you'd actually just continue doing it. And you only have to learn it once. You don't need to continue learning this over and over again. You just got to learn it once. Once you learn what works for your body type with your goals and with your specific variables it's actually very easy it takes time but this is the permanent approach given within this we have to be realistic with ourselves because again we do these unsustainable approaches and like i said they will all work but we have to be realistic with ourselves and ask ourselves can i do this for the rest of my life and if the answer is no then we need to rethink within what we're doing i hope you guys found this useful i hope this makes sense like anything else we don't get far without mentorship and without coaching okay know that we need to have a sustainable approach to have long-term permanent results there's a difference between getting results and there's a difference between having long-term permanent results long-term permanent results come from a sustainable approach if you guys found this useful subscribe to our channel like put in the comments if you have any questions or what you found more useful and let me know what you think and i'd be more than glad to help all right we'll see you guys on the other side bye